Neswarya's mother lashes out against Preeti Zinta. Maureen Wadia calls Preeti's complaint about her getting molested by her son in bad taste. She could have been Preeti Zinta's mother-in-law, but Maureen Wadia, mother of Ness Wadia and the matriarch of the Wadia family, has publicly lashed out against Preeti Zinta for lodging a complaint of molestation against her son Ness. It may be recalled that eight months back, Preeti Zinta lodged a complaint with Mumbai police that she was molested and that her modesty was outraged by her former boyfriend, industrialist Ness Wadia. In the complaint lodged on June 13, 2014, Zinta filed a complaint to the Mumbai police against Ness Wadia, alleging he had molested, threatened and abused her at an IPL match at the One Kede Stadium in Mumbai on 30th May 2014. It turned out that Wadia and Preeti had a loud argument at the stadium when Wadia asked her to vacate the seats reserved for him and his family members. The police is still investigating the case. In the exclusive No Holds Bar interview, Maureen Wadia states that they are a close-knit family and are low-key. She says that her husband is the lowest key in the family because if anyone could produce a photograph of Nasli taken anywhere, it would be a coup. Talking about the Preeti Zinta incident, she says that it is unfortunate that the spat between Preeti and Ness got tizzied up and she thought that it was unnecessary. She further says that she has no comment on it except to say that she thinks that it was in bad taste. So, what kind of a bahu does Maureen Wadia want? Her answer will definitely tell you that she doesn't want anybody like Preeti Zinta. According to Maureen, an ideal bahu has to learn if she doesn't know it already. She says the first thing that she wants from a bahu is that she has to respect her in-laws as much as she respects her own parents. She says it begins with respect and mutual warmth and love, then there cannot be any relationship without that. We are sure that the word has travelled to Preeti and she is aware of what is happening around her.